What's up TLP kids? Now this video is going to be a little bit different, but I'm sort of excited about it because I got one of the best questions that I've ever received uh, in my entire life from Shep Rogers. Shep wants to know, how old will I be when I go to heaven? This is what Shep says. And I got to tell you, I have no idea. And I wanted you guys to hear me say that because sometimes I think that pastors and teachers, like we sort of think that they have all of the answers and we can ask them anything and they'll just tell us what it is that we need to believe. And on this one, I have no idea. Uh, one of the people that I look up to has even said that sometimes there's just questions that we don't know the answer to. And that's okay. Uh, and I've gained a lot of strength from that. So, Shep, I don't know. Um, how old do you want to be? I think we might be able to start there. Now, I will say that there's certain things that we know that I'd want to uh, uh, not just leave you hanging out here. I want to say a couple things about just about the question in general. Now, I think that for most of us, what we have learned and what we have internalized is the goal of all things is for us to go to heaven someday. And we all have this idea about what heaven is going to be. Streets of gold and mansions and we'll just be there and we'll be singing or we'll be eating or we'll be playing baseball, listening to music. Maybe you want to play some Fortnite. I don't know. Just the things that you like to do, we sort of think that that's what it's going to be. But actually... The story of the Bible, when it reaches its conclusion, one of the coolest things that happens to us is not that we float off to go to heaven and live in these mansions with streets of gold, playing baseball or whatever, but one of the coolest things that happens to us is our bodies become resurrected like, like Jesus. So a few weeks ago when we celebrated Easter, right, the whole story is Jesus dies and then three days later Jesus is raised from the dead. And Jesus shows up to his friends and his disciples over a period of a handful of days. And he's like, just, he's there. He's, he's Jesus, but he's different. And this is the only thing that we have to go on as to what resurrection looks like for us. So when Jesus shows up, he's the same, but he's different. Remember, there's a story in John where Mary is in this garden and she sees somebody who she thinks is a gardener, but it's Jesus. And it's not until the gardener slash Jesus says her name that she recognizes who he is. There's another story in Luke's gospel. And Jesus, this is after he's been resurrected, he's walking on the road with these two guys going to Emmaus. And they're pretty sad and they are talking about what's all happened. Namely, they're talking about Jesus and how he's died. And Jesus is right there with them. Now, it might be that they just didn't know what he looked like, but it also might be that he looks a little bit different than he did. But at some point, he sort of has this big reveal and he tells them who he is. And they're like, whoa, that makes so much sense because our hearts were burning the entire time that he was talking to us. And then there's other weird things about Jesus after he's resurrected. It's sort of like you can be in a room and the door is closed and then Jesus just shows up right next to you and you're like, hey, hey Jesus, where, where did you come from? You know, stuff that we can't do now where he's like kind of walking through walls and it's just strange. But then he also does normal things like he eats fish with his disciples and it's weird. And one of the coolest things about this is after Jesus dies and he's resurrected and he has this new body that does weird new things, but also does some of the old things that bodies do, he still has his scars. Remember from like the crucifixion, like the, the holes in his wrists and in his side. And he shows them to his friends, namely to uh, Thomas. Maybe you know him as Doubting Thomas. He doesn't believe that this can really be Jesus. And Jesus says, look, look at my scars. I think that's so weird and also so cool that our bodies, our resurrected bodies, they still have the characteristics of us. It's like we'll know 
who we are and we can see the things that have marked us right now. Maybe even the things that we don't like about ourselves. They're, they're with us and they stay with us. But maybe then we recognize that they're not things that make us any less. They're things that make us who we are. So Shep, I, it's fun to talk about. I have no idea how old you will be. I have no idea what your resurrected body will look like. I do think that sometimes we think the goal is going somewhere when the Bible doesn't really paint that picture. In fact, in the same way that it talks about us getting a new body, it talks about the earth becoming restored. Like the way that we kind of have messed things up, uh, Paul, the apostle who wrote a lot of the New Testament, he says that creation, all of the stuff out our windows is groaning with anticipation for the coming of Jesus so that everything will be made right. And it's almost like the earth is resurrected too, to be exactly what God had intended it to be. So this is what I can say, at least according to the Bible. Whatever it looks like, you will be exactly as God intends. And you will not be disappointed at all. And that is really cool. In the meantime, though, go ahead and go wild. Think about all kinds of crazy stuff and what it's going to be like when everything is made right. Can you imagine when Jesus makes everything as it's supposed to be, how good that would be? How good those baseball games might be? How good that grass is going to be? How good uh, just it, it will be to be outside and to be in creation and to be with these new glorified bodies and to be everything that we were ever intended to be? Mm, that is good, good, good. And Shep, thank you for letting us to think about uh, those big thoughts that I don't have the answers for, but man, it will be fun to figure it all out one day. Thanks so much for that question. The next one is sort of off script a bit. We actually have a prompt from Miss Suzanne, one of your teachers, and she wants me to talk about something that is really, really important. So we'll do that soon. And in the meantime, keep asking those questions, keep thinking big thoughts because God can handle them and keep loving your neighbor well. We will see you soon.